Well, Jamil, before we get into your first start on Tuesday night, how have you settled into life here at the club? No, it's been good. Um, see, it took a little bit longer than I wanted and anticipated to, to, to play the first game, but um, now the boys have been great. They've welcomed me in. Um, so I've all settled in with, with the boys and, and everything at the training ground, so it's been really good. How frustrating was it you to sit in the stands for that Leicester game, a, a sellout crowd at the Pound on Bescott Stadium? It must have been one that you were chomping at the bit to be involved in. Yeah, it was frustrating to be honest. Um, like I said, especially because I hadn't played a game and then um, I was probably up in the stand, you know, kicking and netting every ball to be honest. But um, you know what? It's one of those. The boys had done all the hard work to get there, so I was frustrated. But at the same time, you know, I think the boys obviously got there, got there, got the, the club there, deserved the chance to to see playing that game. So um, I'd love to have played a part, but you know, the boys did themselves proud and did the club proud. You got your debut for the Sabres on Tuesday night against Salford. A frustrating game. At the end of it, coming away with a one 0 defeat. Your views on that one? Yeah, we obviously didn't get off to the best start. Um, the conditions weren't great, but we always obviously knew what to expect before the game. Um, and yeah, I think it's one of those. I think once we grew into the game, as the game got going, we were probably a stronger team. I thought. Um, I'm frustrated, like I said, not to score myself um, on the night. Um, but I think it's you know how we grew into the game, and it, it's. That's more positive. Obviously, it's my first time playing with the team, so I kind of, you know, seen how I fit, fit into that. Um, but yeah, I think it's um, we know we, we we want to have a reaction to that now, and we'll be looking forward to that on Saturday. The beauty of the fixture list at the moment is that those games are coming thick and fast. I think it works out to about twelve in six and a half to seven weeks now. So, if there is a disappointment like there was on Tuesday, there's always that immediate reaction that we can have with a game coming, like I say, a couple of days later. Yeah, I think that's what you always look, look to. Um, you know, you'll replay, like myself, you replay pictures in a game and think what you could have done better. Um, so from, if you've got to wait maybe a week to, to try and, you know, put that right, then sometimes, you know, you can have that replay in your head for a couple of days. But um, yeah, with the games coming thick and fast now, you know, it's it's kind of, right, put that one kind of to the side and, and try to improve for the next one. So with Northampton coming now tomorrow, we, we will be looking to do that. They're right up there in the, the automatics, I believe they are at the moment. So they've been there for the last couple of seasons as well. So they know what it takes to be there. And it's proves to be another tough test for the group, isn't it? Yeah, it'll be a tough test. They were there or thereabouts last season. I'm looking up to, to go up. Um, so I'm sure that will mo be motivation for them to try and put that right this season. Um, but like I said, we're a team now. You know, We've got a squad in there that's capable of, of challenging up at the top end of the league. Um, so we'll be going there, you know, full of confidence and looking to, to get a result ourselves. The fans have been fantastic so far this season, travelling in great numbers, home and away. Away on Tuesday night, I think it was just shy of 600. Saturday, there's going to be a crowd of over 1,000 there. How much does it mean to, to the group to have such fantastic support on the road? Oh, I think it's massive. I think um, especially when we're trying to achieve, you know, trying to get ourselves up to the top end of the table, um, we need everyone pulling in the same direction and the fans have been brilliant since I've, I've joined the club and I'm sure they've been all season from what I've heard so um, yeah their, their support is massive and you know when tough times are in games you can hear them singing and on Tuesday especially you can hear them singing um, and that drives the boys on to, to, to try and do better so um, if you can keep pushing us towards the end of the season you know, I'm sure we won't be far away. You mentioned it being a squad game there, somebody who joined us late on Tuesday night, somebody who you're very close with, you know them very well, Matty Stevens. How much are you looking forward to linking up with him? Because he said he, he can't wait to get going with you again as well. Yeah, definitely. Um, Matty's a great lad, first and foremost, works his socks off for the team, um, but he's a goal scorer as well. And um, he's someone that, so we had a great partnership last season, we scored a lot of goals, um, and we worked really well together, we struck up a really good partnership. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to obviously definitely rekindling that and, and hopefully we can do that in, in, in the Warsaw, Warsaw shirt now.